The graphic display option is a powerful tool that can significantly enhance your presentation if used correctly. This option has a few important parts that we are going to learn about them in detail to ensure we utilize it to its full potential. Let's start. You can find this tool in Visual Style section and it is this first option. In here, you can see all of the different parts and the first section that we are going to learn about is this model display. This section is all about the theme, the style of your presentation, the style of the, all of the graphics in this view. And the first option in here is the style itself. So we have a few options in this part. If you open this visual style, you can see all of them in here too. So first we have the wireframe. If you apply it, you will see all of the lines of different parts of your families in here. Sometimes if you want to see inside a family, you can use this one either for exporting a view or just for modeling. Then we have this hidden line which give you a full white surface and black lines of your project. Uh, I have changed all of the settings in here so we can see it. If you don't change anything, if you don't like use this option in here, all of the faces of your project will be white and it will give you a very good base for like using different colors, different patterns on your project. After that, we have this shaded. If you apply this onto your project, it will give you some shades and also you will have this option to see the edges or not. If I uncheck this, you will see that we have no lines in here and the only thing in this part is the faces and some shadows. So I'm going to check this and the next option is the consistent color which we use all the time. This option has no shadow, no shades and you can see all of the different parts of your uh, model with like a uh, same lighting with no shadow which sometimes is helpful after that we have this texture which if you assign any material to different parts of your project to different elements you will see those texture and if those um, materials have any texture on them have any like uh, reflection any translucency transparency any lighting you can use this realistic and this will give you another uh, part in here if you open it you can use all of these options to like adjust the lighting and the uh, color of those parts usually i use this consistent color or this shaded so i'm going to go with this one and the next option in here is this smooth line with anti-aliasing. So before I check that, let me show you these lines in this part. You can see that we have like very harsh lines. If I uncheck it, you can see even with the thickness, they are not smooth enough. But if I check this option in here, if I check this smooth lines with anti-aliasing, you can see that how smooth they are. You don't see those edges on lines. So this will uh, give your uh, presentation a very smoother line and it will make it look much better. I just use this option all the time when I want to export or for any type of presentation. Then we have this transparency. This option is going to be applied to all of your project to all of different parts so if i put it on something like this all of these different parts will have some kind of transparency if you don't want to have it like this if you want to have for example a, a specific part a specific element a, a unique component to be transparent you can use another option let's say you just want to see this island transparent so you need to just select it and from this part overwrite by element you can use this transparency in here let's for now put it on for example 46 and you can see the other side of these islands last tool that we have in this part is this silhouette which will give you different types of lines different types of pattern different types of thickness even different types of visibility so we have this center line in here we have these hidden lines medium lines thin lines and white lines which will give your 
lines in this project in this view different thickness and if none of these are your favorite you can just simply click on this edit new and in this part you can either select between these different types of lines in this part or you can just simply create your own line with and the color you want with the thickness you want and also with the pattern you want if you change this one and let's for example put it on this center line all of your lines in this view will change into that pattern will change into that type of line so if i put this on different scale you can see all of the lines in here are on center line and if you change the scale a bit more you can see all of those lines with the same pattern so this option affects on all of the lines on your project this was the first part and the next part is the shadows section in here we have only two options cast shadow which is the sun shadow this one and then we have this ambient shadow i'm going to check this one so you can see the difference in here better ambient shadow is going to work on corners is going to like give a um, shadow give a like a dirt texture on the corner on the like edges of your um, project so if i apply you can see the difference in these parts in these corners you can feel the difference in here and then with this cast shadow you can combine them together and it will give you sharp shadows like this with these tools you can just change the vibe of your project and make it look more realistic third option is this sketchy line if you want to use it you need to enable sketchy lines and then you will have two different options to use first is this jitter which is kind of like handwriting it will turn your straight lines into like hand sketching lines and this extension will uh, extend the lines on the points on the edge of your component or families so let's zoom in to see how these works right now jitter is on zero so we have just simple straight lines if i put it on one you can see some variations in here if i put it on like three you will see like messy lines and if i like put it on seven or even more you will see like multiple lines in here these are just for one line and it will give your project a sketchy feeling a hand sketching feelings so i'm going to go back because we don't want to see this type of like sketches on in different parts of our project especially when we have like different lines like these cabinets in here and then with this extension i am going to put it on one so you can see these edges in here you can see edges in this part if i extend it to like eight you will see more lines you will see more extension for all of these parts which is not looking good it's good in these parts but not good in here so for this project i'm not going to use like much sketchy lines either jitter or extension i think this one is going to be enough for both of them then we have this depth screen which is not active in here because it only works in sections or elevations so if we go to this elevation in here i'm going to go back to graphic display option and in this part you can just activate and if you just apply you can see a fade uh, like a fog on your project depending on what you want to focus on you can play with these options and it will give you a more focus on what you want to like show and then with this fade limit you can control the fog you can control the options that you have in this part this option is super helpful when you want to export an exterior elevation especially when you have different buildings and different plants around your building and you just want to focus on your building you can use this to fade anything that is behind your building and focus on your elevation next section is this lighting and with all of these tools that we have in here we can control the light and also these shadows in here so first this scam will only work when you are in a realistic style 
in this one and if you'll have like two different types of scam exterior and interior you can use only sun sun and artificial lighting and only artificial light so if i put it on only this artificial you will have access to this option in this part you can control any lighting that you have in your project and if i apply you will see this view with a realistic style which is not my favorite at all so i'm not going to change it let's go back to consistent color and the second option in this part is the sun setting if you open it you will have like different setting of the sun so you can control these shadows and you can control the direction of the sun for example right now we are in uh, sunlight top right so if i change it to top left the sun is going to be different and it will look like this you can change the settings from this part for each one of these presets that we have in here or you can just simply use these presets with no settings you just need to select them and then apply on your project and the direction of your sun will like follow accordingly after you set the shadow from this part either cast shadow or ambient shadow and then you set the sun or any artificial lighting you can control their value from this part so you can change these and for example you can control your shadow like this you can see that we have like less shadows in this part if i increase it you will see like more sharp shadows or you can do it with ambient lighting and also the sun so i'm going to go back to some numbers like this and then we can move to the next tool that we have in here this realistic again only works on realistic style so if you active that you will have all of these tools active and i like never used this part before because i don't really like this realistic style but you can use it automatically or manually and then with this part you can control the highlight shadow saturation and white point of your view and at the end we have this background setting this option also works very good when you want to export a exterior elevation so it will give you different option first of all with none you will get a white background like this if you haven't changed the settings okay and then you will have this sky option which will give you only a color setting for controlling the ground color and then you will get this gradient which will give you three options to control the sky horizon line and the ground color gradient gives you an acceptable background if you don't want to spend lots of times on your background and you don't want to change anything in here these colors looks good on any background but if you want to take this further you can use an image so in this part you can just assign an image in here and you can change the scale you can change the offset and this will transfer your project this will give you a very high quality background either for a sky or for your horizon line and with this you can create a very great impact on your presentation at the end you can just save this template with this option and use it for the other views that you might need to change their graphic display option or probably for any other project if you want to take your presentation into the next step if you want to make it much more better than this you can use visibility and graphic and there are lots of different tools that you can use and it will enhance your presentation to know how it works you just need to watch this video in here and i will see you next time